Good afternoon. My name is Joe Gunty. I'm a proud principal of Morton West High School. And I had the opportunity this afternoon to be with a very fine group of uh, seniors. Uh, this is a class of 2011. Uh, what about a nice cheer for yourself, class of 2011? And as you see with this very enthusiastic group, we're here today to really recognize something that the class of 2011 has offered to our Morton West campus. These fine individuals who represent the senior class have donated uh, to the school a mural. And I gotta you know, tell you guys, I certainly appreciate the fact that you have, uh, in representing the school, have put forth such a generous donation. So I'm gonna spend just a few minutes providing some interviews. Once again, a nice cheer for the class of 2011. <laughs> guys, thanks so much, and uh, uh, let's look forward to a great spring. Hi, I'm with uh, Natalie Guerrero, and Natalie is the president of the class of 2011. Natalie, how do you think that this mural has brought about school spirit at Morton West High School? Uh, I think it uh, brings a lot of joy and happiness to the students and to the community. It's really big, and it's inviting, and it's, uh, it emphasizes how much school spirit we have and how much we care about our school. You know, based on the, uh, the plan that was in place, w did it come out the way that you envisioned it? Yeah, I actually think it looks way better than what I thought it was going to look like. So I'm really proud of uh, what the artist has done with the, the pictures and everything, and it looks really great. Now I'm with Annalisa Guerrero. Annalisa is the vice president to the class of 2011. Um, Annalisa, could you tell me some of the fond memories that you've had over your four years at Morton West High School? Yeah, well, definitely the, all the sports activities, sports events, I mean. Uh, the football games, soccer games, basketball games, along with the school dances and winter formal. Those are always fun because there's full of memories and excitement and all that. But besides that, all the after school activities, class of 2011, amazing class. We do a lot for school and our community and it's definitely one of the favorite things that go on here. Was there one specific highlight, that one capitalizing moment that you had uh, that kind of represented the enthusiasm of the class of 2011? Uh, for sure, it had to be uh, the, one of the last football games. Most of all the seniors were there. We definitely had so much fun. Um, and then, yeah, for, for sure, the football games. And now I have the, uh, the opportunity to speak with uh, Tanya Flores. Tanya is a secretary to the class of 2011. And Tanya, why don't you tell me a little bit about the exciting things that are going to be occurring, um, let's say, from now until the end of the year. What are the things you think the class of 2011 are most excited about? Um, well, basically all the senior activities, um, senior breakfast, um, senior picnic, um, the school dances, winter formal, spring fling, prom, graduation, all of that stuff. A lot of work at hand, a lot of fun to be taken prior to uh, going away to college and setting up careers for, for yourselves. Yes, that too. I have the fine opportunity to be with Jessica Garduno, and Jessica is the treasurer for the class of 2011. And Jessica, with how did you come up, how did the class come up with this awesome idea to have a mural? What was the kind of the impetus for that? Well, we kind of thought about Morty, Morty, and he's always present in all of our games and everything. So we thought of putting him and representing him into our school at the Field Fieldhouse. So we kind of came up with the whole idea of having a mural of our school mascot. So that came about with the mural of Morty. Okay, very good, very good. And from Morty, I guess, came about this, this beautiful Mustang that was uh, on the wall. Did that, did that certainly help to represent the, uh, the school spirit and our mascot? Well, yes, it did, because the horse is, you know, a strong stallion, as well as uh, Smart and Mustangs are really strong and competitive, so I thought it went perfectly well. I wanted to, uh, to bring to the community and show in a little bit more defined manner the, um, the donation that was provided by the Class of 11. So Class of 11, this is ours, right? The donation from the Class of 11 to Morton West High School. Congratulations. I'm now with uh, Rob Anderson. Rob is a science teacher at Morton West High School as well as the uh, head uh, track uh, and field coach. And uh, Rob, I guess I just have to ask you, uh, based on you know, finally being able to get into the facility, um, what has this done uh, to your program and uh, the enthusiasm you know, that the students carry in relation to, uh, particularly at this time, the indoor track program? Uh, if anything, with having a new facility, you get more kids just coming out to see what it's like to run on this. It's not the uh, carpet on concrete. Now we actually have a Mondo-like surface. Times would be great. You have a chance to run on spikes indoor and actually have a chance to have a full indoor season and get ready for outdoor for the state track meet. 
how exciting is it tonight? You're going to have a, I guess, your first indoor meet, right? And you have, is it Neco Valley that's coming? And Neco Valley and Mount Carmel will be here. Yeah, it'll be the first first meet of my head coaching career on a new surface. It's very exciting. It was a very sleepless night, but. Do you think that the uh, kids will bring forth a little bit more of uh, an extra, uh, you know, push just because of the fact that uh, they're going to be able to run and host this type of event? On the on the surface, yes. I think the, this gets to the surface and also giving a chance where the other two schools coming don't have indoor facilities, and we have actually two of them. Hey Rob, good night. To, good, good luck tonight, and uh, hope you wish you guys well um, in tonight's event. All right, thank you very much. Hi, I'm Josh McMahon, Student Activities Director here at Morton West High School, and I'm here with Miss Julie Jeter and Miss Jen Janik, Club Advisors for the Class of 2011. Uh, and I'd like to ask Miss Janik a question in regards to the wonderful uh, mural that the Class of 2011 has donated. Um, in regards to how did they come with that decision? We actually explored a variety of different opportunities as to what we could use to share what the Class of 2011 represents, but we went with the mural. The school was in need. It was a creative idea that they were very much excited about, and it's obviously uh, been a very large benefit to making the field house really feel like Morton again. Thank you. And, and Ms. Jeter, you've been here for uh, many years in regards and worked with many different classes. What are some of your favorite memories going to be about the Class of 2011 as they leave? The class of 2011 is a very energetic group of young people that Jen has really molded into keeping a focus on getting jobs done. We had a great prom, we're going to have a wonderful senior breakfast, and working in student activities really rounds off your job at Morton, and I would encourage every staff member to get involved in student activities in some way. Thank you. And in speaking of working with student activities, you guys do a great job working with your class, and I definitely would like to thank you in regards to all the hard work that you have done with the class of 2011.